Hey guys, hope you're all good today. In the previous videos, we've seen how to create mappings between when we need to transfer data from a database table to another database table or from a database table to another flat file target, target file. So uh, today we'll learn how to transfer data from a flat file source to a target table. So to do that, we need to create a source file first. So let's create a new text document and name it as the source file. File. Okay, let's open it and let's enter data for the source file and let's make a table for employee IDs and their names. So let's enter the first data, that with, which is the one delimited by a bar and then the name of the employee. Let's suppose it is Jack. Then another employee two, and let's suppose we name it Jane. And then the third employee, and we shall name it Okay, sorry, yeah, we shall name it Leo. So let's save this and move over to the designer where we create the mapping for transferring data from the source file to the target table. Go to Programs, Informatica 9.6, Client, Power Center Client, and the Designer. Let's connect to the repository using Administrator as the login username and Oracle as the password. Click Connect. Open the Trainings folder go to source analyzer right click clear all and source we need to import the source but first we need to create the target table as well so let's go to the target database disconnect connect it again using the test one odbc connection click ok and log in as target user with the password target. <clears throat> okay, so here we'll create the new table in the target database. So create table and let's name the table as person. So n and the columns in it were employee ID which we can keep as var char var char two and the second column was the name. Okay, we cannot keep it as name. Let's keep it as first name first name and let's have it as varchar sorry varchar 10 close the parenthesis and execute this command and the new table shall be created there we have it the new table refresh this and the new table has been created as person Okay, so let's go back to the designer and start with the mapping. First, let's import the source, which is a flat file, <coughs> into the designer. So we have to import from file. File type select all. And here it is, our source file. Click OK. As we did before we don't need to do anything here as we need this data to be read from the first line so click next as it is in the next column in the next window we need to specify our delimiter which is the bar delimiter 
we don't have any quotes so click next here we'll rename the fields and change their length so field 1 we need to have it as 2 and let's rename it as id field 2 okay okay yeah we need to convert it to the text type so let's name the second field as name and length 10 click finish and here we have it the new so, uh, source has been in, imported so now what we need to do is import the target table from the target database clear all click on targets and import from database import from database yeah we need to be connected as target so the password is target as well click on connect and <laughs> here it is target expand this expand the tables and select person as that will be our target table in which we need to load the data from the flat file click ok and here it is the new target has been imported so let's move on to creating a mapping now so let's go to the mapping designer and create a new one here we'll name it as m underscore ff for flat file underscore person click ok expand the sources we can see we have a flat file source here which is source file so drag and drop it in the workplace now click on person target file sorry 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 we don't need this the person is our target yeah so let's drag and drop it over here arrange all oops the target is over here let's drag it to the front for better understanding okay now let's select both the columns from the source qualifier and bring them into the target oops okay yeah now we have a one-to-one -one mapping where data is being transferred from the flat file source to a target table in a database so we've seen three types of mappings now table to table table to file and file to table now we've saved this work and the mapping is valid as well in the following lecture we'll be seeing how to create a session and a workflow for the mappings. Till then, take care of yourself and goodbye.